Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create this spaceship out of assets. It's not that we're going to recreate this as we've done in other tutorials. It's that I'm going to show you how the assets panel work and how you uh, can create another one like this, slightly different by changing and um, sticking together some of the, the assets that we will be creating. So let's start with it. What we're going to do is first off, just put it aside and I'm going to show you the assets panel, which is here. If you don't find it, you just go to view studio and click on assets. So what you can see in here, it's uh, several assets that I already created. If I drag and drop this one in here, you can see it just pulls out another one exactly like this one because I just saved it as an asset. Um, I have other assets here like the wing, for example, um, I have the light for the propulsion or things like that. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create an asset, which is quite easy. For example, for this one, the only thing I have to do is just drag and drop. And as you can see, we have another, um, call it instance, even though if I just um, modify this one, it's not going to affect the rest um, of this spaceship. You can change the, the name by right clicking over the thumbnail and say X fighter, for example. So it keeps the name here. You cannot read it. But if you roll over, you're going to see it there. OK. So the next thing I want to show you is how to just get little pieces of your artwork and be able to um, store them in the assets panel. So what I'm going to do here now is ungroup my spaceship and say, for example, I want to save this little I'm gonna group whole thing. So say, for example, I want to save this, uh, this piece in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do look in here because there is like a hotspot area, which is darker than the rest of the panel. That is where you want to drag and drop things. Otherwise it's not going to work. If I come here, it's just nothing is happening. Okay. If I come here, it's going to store it exactly there. Okay. So it's just as easy as you see. Very easy. Now I just pull it out because I want to use it. So pretty easy, as you can see, it has no mysteries. Um, here you have some options to rename, delete your assets, uh, change the, the order, etc. And you have some other options here to create new categories. For example, if I come here and I say create new category, I clicked on it. Now I rename it and I say pieces, for example. OK. You can see the name is now in here. You can also change this one, which would be, for example, um, uh, soup pieces, just to put a name, something like this. OK, so everything is stored in quite a convenient way and very organized. It's very nice. So in the next part of this video, I wanted to show you how to just do something like going to get rid of this, like what I did in here. Um, as you can see, oh my God, I just, <laughs> of course, I ungrouped the whole thing. I'm going to group it all again. So everything is easier. As you can see in here, I have another spaceship. You can see, I just created this one out of tweaking the first one. So this is basically what I would like you to, to do here now. And we're going to go for it. So, I mean, the whole purpose is just to have a library of assets that you can use all over your document. Because if I open this, just say I open a new document, come here and say, yeah, it's going to be showing me all my assets from other documents, which is very convenient. And so what I wanted to do now is just creating another spaceship out of this one just let's let's imagine i just open this this document and work with these uh panels here i'm just gonna go to the canvas 
and I'm gonna start to say like for example the main trunk which would be this area and now probably I want to just you know change some stuff in the, in there for this is better always having the, la uh, the layers panel open and I'm gonna say yeah make it orange for example just to to give it a color I'm gonna change the rest of them it would be better to just zoom in and grab them all okay so this has I think yeah this is masking so okay I'm gonna do it like this the same for this one I'm gonna copy the color and apply and the same for this one I could just select them all in one go but I just didn't okay so we have the main trunk there uh, probably I want to modify um, something here to just to make it different you know just to, not to make it exactly the same as the first one I designed um, I'm gonna put it aside like this now let's see if I have all the pieces yeah we have the wings in here so we can just go like this and what I'm going to do now is probably um, Let's just try and opa. Let's just try and see how it looks like this. And I'm gonna just go like this and go like this. Nope. And select this one. Yeah. Just to change a little bit the design, you know. I'm gonna get rid of this one too and this one too. Um this one too. I may just do different colors for these ones, something like this, yeah. So you get the idea of how nice it is to just store your all your assets in, in your documents and, and just reuse them for other projects. Um, this is very convenient, for example, if you just want to save some kind of, um, I say, parts of the body or I don't know whatever the category you want uh, weapons or you know all kind of props just the possibilities are immense so I'm gonna put this here and I'm going to just put it like this I'm gonna make some changes here too maybe I just flip it see how it looks and now probably I want to change the color in here uh, I'm not very happy with this orange I, I just chose. It's not very cool, I'd say. Um. Anyway, again, I tell you, you get the idea what basically what I'm doing. When I'm done with this wing, I just copy it to the other side. Otherwise, you know, I have to do things twice and that's not what we want. We want to be faster. Okay, so I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna put it there. Make sure they are exactly in the same position, which probably they're not. Also, these two should be aligned, but they're not. Well, this is just the consequences of, you know, doing things a little bit in a hurry. And I can see that this one has, uh, should be four. Oh, wow. I don't think I applied it. Oh yeah, I did. And this one mm, should be for two. So they look the same. Okay. Looks better that. This two should be symmetrical. You know, I've just done it. Not exactly perfect. Still it looks good and I think it's good enough to show you what's the, the idea behind the, um, the the assets panel which is the most important thing here now yeah mm, probably I want to do one of these darker so it gives a little bit more of shadowy illusion yeah I'm gonna change this red just don't think it it's the best option I think I'm selected, okay, more than I wanted. Let's go with this one. Yeah, more than I wanted. 
of course. Just to group it. As I said, it's better always finishing one of the sides and then just, you know, duplicate it. I just save time and everything is absolutely identical on both sides, which is important. Okay, so now we add one of these primitives, whatever feels right to use for your design, whatever you think is cool for your design. That'd be, let's make it white. I'm not sure I like it very much. Let's just do it um, four, something like that looks cool. And now I'm going to use this. But as I said before, it's just better. Let's just get rid of this wing here. So we make sure this and this are the identical, so I just duplicate it when I just think I'm, I'm done. So I'm gonna cut this, sorry, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna just come here, I'm gonna click in the background and I'm gonna paste it. So that way it's positioned exactly behind the, the propeller, the wing, which is what I want. And maybe mm, I'm gonna change the color for this one, I'm gonna make it just yellowish something like this yeah um i don't like these colors i'm just gonna make a change with through the layers palette um i'm just gonna select something different yeah some blue no yeah this one yeah and this one i don't want it um red so i'm gonna look for it here i'm gonna change the color to something like and the orange oh <laughs> it's horrible yeah i just you know maybe i do it this color better this one yeah yeah that orange there i just don't like it at all and you know i think i'm simply gonna get rid of those pieces there whatever they are i'm gonna just zoom in fuera out with it and this one too yeah and now i'm missing the bottom side of the of the spaceship but that's not a big deal i mean just come here and i put something like something that could work i'm gonna give it uh same color as, th as this one something like this just for you to see more or less what i'm trying to do and now we group the whole thing and duplicate flip put it to the other side I, normally i would just you know take the right measure so this wing and this wing are exactly positioned in the same place, which is what you should do too. And I copy, no, actually, I'm gonna maybe do it three, two colors so it's cool. Mm, something like that. I think it looks cool. Good enough for you to see uh, that um, quite quickly you can create a not completely, opa, not completely different um, spaceship. But a different one, and of course you can just, you know, do whatever you want. I mean, for example, I can now just start tweaking things in such a way that after some minutes, these uh, uh, spaceships are going to be quite different. And still, I've been working in quite a fast pace, which is uh, very interesting. Okay, so that was it for today. Thank you. If you like this video, please click like. And if you want to subscribe for more videos that I'm currently uploading, um, just subscribe and ask me whatever you want um, regarding Affinity Designer or regarding uh, Factor Illustration, which is my main specialty. So for the next tutorial, I'll be probably going through the creation of uh, one of these spaceships. So you can create your own and see more or less how easy it is and results are quite nice 
I was just thinking maybe doing a poster or something like full of these um, spaceships, all of them different, but very similar to each other. I think that would be a nice, cool thing to do. So yeah, um, see you soon. Bye.